Hey guys, for everything horror, this is ABC Halloween, and we've got some new animatronics released by Party City of all people for 2024. Now, first of all, I need to get out of the way that I am very extremely sorry that this is my background, and it's probably going to be really muffled too since I'm just propping my phone up. Um, but this is just, eh, this is my mom's work in the storage area. That's what I'm doing today because I can't be in my studio. Um, but we have got some new insane, well-wanted animatronics, um, for Party City Halloween 2024. Um, and I'll be making a lot of videos about these probably, but we have been getting a bucket load full of info on these things lately for every company imaginable, pretty much. Um, so we're just going to talk about Party City in this video, though. So, now, here is the most insane part. Is we are getting an Art the Clown, and we're getting the Pale Girl. I don't know who that is, I think it's another one in the movie, another clown or something, but that's that. Um, these things look incredible. So we'll start with Art the Clown. He's got a saw. Um, I think that's from the movie, and he's also got the little horn thing, um, which is definitely interesting. And he can pull up the sunflower glasses, it seems, which are, um, which are apparently a big prop and a big point in the movie. Um, so that's why they have that included. Um, well, with Earth the Clown, I think he uses servo motors. Now, how can we really detect this? So, from right here, we can see that he stands, and his movement's kind of like that, kind of like that, like, kind of like realistic movement, like with the head and neck turning, um, like that kind of. And when they're putting the head on in this setup video, it seems like we can see it kind of wobble around when it's going on, and that probably means it's a servo, since the servo connections are actually pretty damn wobbly. Just like Straw Man, if you have Straw Man, he has a little stick with a screw in it, and you just have to tighten the screw, but if it was just a stick going in, it would be flying all over the universe. But that's, I guess, the part of the servo motor stuff, and I definitely am calling it and saying that this is a servo motor prop. Now, talking about the Pale Girl animatronic, um, this is apparently a very underrated character in that movie, um, but this is a- this one pretty much, I think, looks better. Um, this one looks really creepy. It's just a little thing, but it has some insane movement, honestly. So, the arm kind of just dangles back and forth, like waving. And I think the head turns. I'm not completely sure, but I think that's what it is. Um, it's cool. I've not seen the movie, so it's kind of a, kind of a random opinion. So, I just think it looks pretty creepy, pretty epic. And I definitely think it will do a good job for a scare. And for being so small, I think it looks great. Um, now, talking about their detail, the art does not look that good on Art the Clown. Oh, like the face on the arts, the clown from Party City, that's not good. Um, and then we've got the girl, which looks amazing. So, it's kind of surprising seeing this from Party City, because I don't think they've really done too much in the past. I think maybe they did, like, a live stream from corporate or something on Insta or something. Uh, I think they did that last year, but now we got full-on release of these things. Now, um, are these better than the Leatherface with their animation? I'm already calling it and saying no. Um, the leather face by Techie was, that's probably right up there in the best two license props of all time we've ever gotten, I'm sure of it. Um, so that's pretty interesting, I must say. So this is kind of a downgrade with the animation, but I honestly think this is pretty good. And so definitely leave a like if you want to see more videos like this, since we have a bucket load of news to catch up on. Um, and for everything horror, this is ABC Halloween.